Sup and good day gamers, a formal bust here with Super Hexagon, a first impression. But first, our sponsor, good old H2O. Drink it up or die. Alright, let's get into this. Excuse me again, it's H2O, keeping me hydrated. This is released in t November of 2012, developed and published by Terry C., his last name is uh, C-A-V-A-N-A-G-H, so Kavana. Sorry, I mispronounced that, Terry. Uh, Super Hexagon is a minimal soft, uh, minimal action game by Terry C. <laughs> with music by Chipzel. Chipzel. So you just chip and Z-E-L. Zel. Currently listed for 2.99 United States dollars. And its tags on Steam are difficult, great soundtrack, indie, and fast-paced. We'll see how far I get in this game. Usually puzzle and fast-paced do not go well together, but we'll see. So, main menu, you have escape, quit the game, whatever you like. Uh, start game, options, change to window. They only have windowed and uh, full screen. No, no borderless window on this. It's an older game, so that's, you know, understandable. Configure joypad, I guess if you're using... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm, okay, so you can... So it looks like you can rebind... I need to disable, that's nice, too. Looks so like you can rebind your joypad. Uh, no, no key binding for keyboard, though. You just get what they, you know, give you. Uh, disable sound, enable sound. Nice to see. Uh, V-Sync, enable, disable. And enable, disable, dar uh, arcade mode. Uh, I guess if you're doing a multiplayer thing. And delete records. Sure. Okay. That just takes me to the main menu. Good. Uh, credits. Nice. Credits. Nice. Real. Just three pages. Not exactly, you know. Oh, wow. Got the websites and everything. So, very, very... Oh, testing. Nice. Alright, yeah. This looks like it was a three-person uh, event. And a lot of testers. So, bravo for you. All right, let's get right into the game then. We've talked about the main menu enough. All right, so hexagon hard. Oh, nice. Hexagon or harder. Hexagonist, hexagon. Okay, and then the locked three locked. Lo uh, so you have six unlocked. Sorry, three unlocked and three locked by the beginning because it's a hexagon. Great. All right, let's jump into this. It's a hard. Again. Okay, so I just avoid the incoming bars. Seems fine. Oh, no. Oh! Well, that was quick. I mean, really, the music is what I'm here for. Man. Oh. You can tell how great I am at puzzle games. Okay. Mm. One thing I cannot understand so far... You're not on, you're not moving throughout these, uh, you're not moving throughout these hexagon planes. You're moving just on a radius around the hexagon, which to me seems counterintuitive for a geometric game, but whatever. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's get, oh. Ugh. Okay. I want to get a point, see what the point thing is. Oh. Nope. Game nope. Game ah. Uh, you also gotta keep up which way. Unlike most puzzle games, you're not on a fixed reference point. You're constantly game rotating. So, it's always gonna take you a second to remember which way you're turning. And which- oh no. It does have a very quick, uh, you die and time to restart mentality about it, which I like. Oh. Yeah, there's just times where you're not looking out too far. Oh! Jumped it too far there. Yeah, I mean, it's a puzzle game, y'all. It's a very hard puzzle game with some jamming music, which, you know... If I was any better at the game, we would hear more of. Game over. Again. Game over. 
New record. Yeah, this game I'm sure is well, I'm sure this game is full of lots of new records for everybody. Hmm. You just gotta be ready as soon as you get around to go back. Oh gosh. That's the other thing. Sometimes you'll end up on lines, which to me. To me, if you're on a line, you know. There shouldn't be any lines in this game. It should just be you're in the grid or you're not. Game over. Begin. Game over. Begin. Yep. My my amazing skill at puzzle games comes clear. I mean, no, it's enjoyable. Oh no. It's just it's a puzzle game. You're gonna have to remember what you're doing. Keep focused on it, not fuck up, and just get your high score. That's the whole point of the game. And I mean, for what it is, with the soundtrack, it's amazing. Oh. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it here, though. It's... This is the game. I mean, maybe we'll try out some of the harder ones, just so y'all can... Let's try the hardest. So y'all can see me really eat, eat shit. Game yeah. Over. Yeah. Over. Yeah, but this is it. Um, yeah. I do wonder how long each level is, though. Because I'm not going to go play through all this. Um, but, you know, I mean, well, best time if we're 10 minutes into one game already. And, you know, one game, you know, maybe it is more than 10 minutes. Oh, God, everything so, seems so much slower after the other one. Game over. Begin. Like I said, that's the only thing I can't fathom. It's like I'm on an unlimited uh, 360 axis around the hexagon, instead of being just positioned into each of the areas. Yeah, I know I said I'd stop playing, but, oh man, like most puzzle games, it is somewhat addictive, even if this one is just because of the audio. It is one of those puzzle games I definitely would, I'll probably buy the soundtrack at some point for this, because it's, it's a good soundtrack. Will I continue to play the game? Most likely no. Yeah, nah. Alright, I'm, I'm leaving it here. Feel free to check it out if you want to, gamers. Uh, it's a very straightforward game. Um, and it has Joy-Con control. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I've been a formal bust and have enjoyed Super Hexagon's uh, soundtrack, for sure. Gameplay, not as much. But check it out if you want. It's on Steam and possibly other areas as well. But yeah, I've been a formal bus. Thank you for checking us out. Feel free to do the stuff. Uh, but until next time, take care of yourselves, gamers, and drink some H2O.